is something that this topic, it's something that is just baffling. I mean, how, how can this be legal? Uh, Kamala Harris, uh, it was uh, more than, four, it's like it was yesterday, black men deserve a president who cares about making their lives better. Well, that is not a lie. Black men deserve that as well as white men, as well as uh, Asians. And oh, I don't know all the classifications that you want to name this. However, you want to um, make a, 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 a bullet list of uh, uh, skin colors, go for it. But every single one of those people, no matter your skin color or gender, deserve a president who cares about making their lives better. You should not be able to be specific about black men. But this is the worst part. Harris Wall's policy. Kamala Harris will create an opportunity agenda for black men. What is the opportunity agenda? And you're going to ask, what is this about? Provide one million loans that are fully forgivable up to 20K. Basically, it's free money. Basically, it's free money for black entrepreneurs and others to start a business. So if I go there, if, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I am mixed race, by the way. You know that every single Venezuelan is mixed race. That is a fact. All, every single one of us is mixed race. I have, uh, l l let's say, black blood as well. Uh, I have never taken a DNA test. But let's say that I know that for a fact, for reasons. I'm not going to uh, delve into it. But if I, in the United States, and I want to apply for this loan, I, I'm going to take a test if I have the, the right percentage. Does Meghan Markle with 43% can, can apply for this? Uh, on, on says, uh, or say it's black entrepreneurs. It doesn't say uh, men or women. But Meghan Markle, who is 43% Nigerian, does she apply for that? Or does, uh, can, can she apply? I, I don't know. Now, maybe maybe Doria can apply. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, but if I'm white or Latino, it means that I cannot apply for this. Isn't this a discrimination? Isn't this a segregation? Isn't this the exact opposite of inclusion? Like an uh, inclusion that is actually discrimination? I don't know. It's some, I'm trying to, you know, get around uh, the meaning of these words because I don't understand. I just don't get it. I... Just don't get it. Support education training and mentorship programs that lead to good paying jobs for black men, including pathways to become teachers. Why just black men? What about the sisters? What about black women? Why is so sexist this? And why just black men? No, no Asian men. I don't. This, this, this can't be legal. This can't be legal. This is this is one. This is uh, the third one. This was especially baffling because it implies racism inside racism. Protect cryptocurrency investments so black men who make them know their money is safe. I, I will try to be as uh, polite in this third point. It's like, well, since black men, some of those black men are going to do cryptocurrency investments. That is, that's great. Okay, if you want to put your money on crypto, well, you're free to do so. Okay, I'm not saying that it's good or bad. I am not endorsing crypto in any way. Um, I should. I think that you should do the, your due diligence. But if you're a black man, if you're a black man, you will be protected. Because it, it is implied that you will not know how to handle uh, crypto investments. So if I'm Latino and I mess up with a crypto investment... I'm essentially effed up. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, it's, uh, it's that simple. But if you're a black man, you're protected. I'm sure that you will be insured in some way. But it's, uh, that's what Kamala Harris is saying. I mean, this is actual desperation for black votes. Desperation. Launch a national health initiative focused on the illnesses that disproportionate. I, I don't know how to stress that. This proportion, uh, what, what? Wait a second. <laughs> I need to pronounce that. Disproportionately 
disproportionately, wah, disproportionately, fuck, disproportionately. I, I, I need to check that later. Well, that mostly impact or impact mostly black men. Um, I don't know. That's uh, I would like to know. Maybe they are uh, diseases that impact black men more than white men. But at the same time, if you help black men with that, can't you help white men as well? Because both of them are could be suffering of the same disease. It's not because there are more black men with some kind of disease. It means that you shouldn't be helping white men as well. It's, it's something that I, I don't find it very, uh, very fair. I can't. Discrimination. And if you told me that black men, only black men suffer from this illness, okay, that, that, that could be one thing. Okay, this illness only affects black men. That would be odd as well because we uh, we could have certain skin color and again we could have any kind of mix of uh, of uh, DNA you tell me how that's, uh, that works and of course the one the most important you always leave the most important to, until the end when you make a list you make sure to close the list with something that resonates with your public something that is that that is a sierra con broche de oro you, you close the, uh, the, the list with something powerful. Legalize recreational marijuana and create opportunities for black Americans to succeed in this new industry. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to tell you something. It's, uh, again, this is a free world. You can smoke if you want smoke pot that that, that is uh, on you you if you are an um, adult and you want to grow your own pot and smoke it that's okay what i really don't like is when i am at a city and i have to smell that shit i mean i i remember that i i wrote uh a joke about this the other, not the other day, it was like a couple of years ago. Um, I wrote a joke on Twitter. It was Twitter back then. I almost got canceled. I said, I don't know. I don't understand how people say that weed relaxes you. Because every time I smell that stuff, it makes me want to punch people in the face. That I wrote that. And, and I got all this barrage of people saying that I was violent. I was threatened in violence. I did not understand. Um, uh, you, CBD has helped a lot of people. I understand that. I was talking about smoking weed and making a city. A city where everybody is living in. Making a stink. And... I cannot describe the, the, the feel, how I feel with that. I'm not only physically sick, because I detest the smell of weed. Call me whatever you want. But it's, it, it's, it's like, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like I'm sure that it will end up frying your brain. Again, I am not a doctor or a specialist. But I'm just telling you that it, it is not going to be good for you in the long run it never that kind of stuff never goes uh, well in the long run I'm talking about that last topic uh, thanks to adam Krigler that pointed this out holly whoa uh, holly whoa she was attorney general in california when thousands of men were being locked up for exactly that so that's why people ask what are kamala harris principle what does Kamala Harris uh, stand for? Again, you are free to do as you please, but the problem is, is, is that it, it, it would be good if you do it at home. You make your home stink, that's your problem. Don't make public places stink because that affects every single one of us who don't like our cities to be uh, smelling like pot. That That is something that... And uh, it, it's something like the smell of modern weed is uh, it, it's something that's nuclear. I don't know what, what kind of stuff 
uh, how do they make that kind of a stuff? We have a couple of clips that are very representative of how black voters 